Hi, I'm Jake. So today I was curious, can I make this effect, which I've done a few years before in After Effects, can I make this effect in Premiere Pro? And this is my result. Let's get started. So for the first time on my channel, I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015. So it's not even newer version. I'm using editing layout. And if you cannot see any of my panels, which you can see on my screen, you can go to window and you can enable any panel from this software from here. So let's import our footage. You can double click here in project panel or go to file, import. So these files will be in description below for you to download and to practice on. Let's select them and click open. So to create new sequence, we can just drag and drop our preview video. This is what I've got from After Effects tutorial and we will try to replicate this in Adobe Premiere Pro. So we've created this sequence. We can find it here by this icon. Let's rename it as Final Effect and we can delete this. Just select and press delete on keyboard. So for this effect, we need to shoot ourselves in front of the wall. The most important part of shooting yourself like you flying out from your body is to shoot in front of a green screen. But as you can see, I didn't have a green screen at the time. So now let's take a look how you can make this effect without any green screen. Make sure that you do not cast any shadows. You need to have a cloudy weather. So lighting in your scene will not change and you would not have any shadows on the wall or on the floor. Then you are pretending like you're flying out from the body and then go back to normal position. This motion will make sense more later in this video. Also, you need to have few frames of clean background like this and make sure that you don't have any difference between these two videos except yourself. Drag and drop first video here. We don't need to change sequence settings. And also let's drop this background on our timeline like this. Let's zoom in a bit by dragging this handle. We can select our audio tracks and delete it. If it's connected, you can just select both of them and right mouse click and select unlink. In this way, you'll be able to delete audio tracks. So select it and press delete on keyboard to delete it. So now let's drag this layer with ourselves on top and this clean background here at the bottom, like this. Select this layer on top and go to effects. Once again, you can enable from window effects. And here in search type difference mat. Hold and drag onto this top layer. Then go to effect controls and just tweak these settings. So this effect looks at these both footages and tries to find what is different between them. So here in difference layer, we will set our background layer. This video one, this video one. We can also select this video and go to opacity and set it to zero. So now as you can see, effect already works. We can just select this top layer and tweak these settings. As you can see, we've lost a bit of our hand. So click here to change this value. I'll set to about eight to bring back our details. And this looks good. So let's select these both footages, right mouse click it and go to nest. It's basically pre-composing or making these two videos as one. I'll call it me and click OK. Now we can select this nested footage and go to effects and controls. And here in opacity, we can choose this rectangle tool and just cut off all garbage which we had. Just select this one point by left mouse clicking on it, then hold shift and select other point. And just drag here to cut all which we don't need. Make sure that your mask doesn't cut out yourself. Okay, now we can drag this on top like this and drag and drop our other footage. Let's take a look at this footage which we have here. As you can see, I shot it with my friend using tripod. You just walk towards him and then just freeze for some moment and then go back to original position like this. So let me quickly show you how to make this freeze moment. For example, we would want to have it here. For this, we need to use razor tool here. Click it in this point in time. Then use this selection tool, move it over and drag like this. From this moment in time to this moment, we will make this freeze framed. So to do that, we need to right mouse click it and go to add frame hold. 
So as you can see, we've made this freeze frame. So this is basically how I've done it, this freeze frame moment here. I'll press Ctrl Z to undo these actions. And let's just drag this me composition here. We can go to sequence and select render effects in and out. Now it's pre-rendered and we can work with it. Let's just make sure that timing works well. Select our footage and here in motion we can open it and change its position like this. You need to roughly match ourselves. You, you can also use scale if you need. In my case I don't need it. And let's animate our flying out motion. For this we need to use keyframes. Just set your time cursor here to the beginning of this layer. Left mouse click on this stopwatch here at position and also here at rotation and here at opacity. Just disable and enable once again. And about here where I completed my motion of flying out, we can move this position like this. And as you can see it created automatically new keyframe. Keyframes are basically points in time which remembers the value of certain property. In our case is position. So now if we move it like this and also change here at rotation like this, you can see that it created keyframes. To make sure that your time cursor is on top of your keyframes, you need to hold shift and it will stack right to them and this will light up. So we need to make sure that it's on top of keyframes because when we are changing it, it will not create any other keyframes which could mess up our animation. So let's make sure that we have right kind of movement which we want. And also we can select this motion. And as you can see we have this line. With these handles we can change our trajectory of line out. So let's make it something like this. And let's preview this. I think it looks pretty good. But now we can select these two keyframes and right mouse click on it and go to time interpolation and select ease in. In this way our motion will start rapidly and will slow it down towards these keyframes. We can also open here and here and with these handles we can just drag a bit like this then select this keyframe and also drag by this handle make sure that we have this straight line. We are making the movement even faster at the start and slower towards these keyframes. So let's preview this. I think it looks good. And to make sure that our astral projection goes back to our body, we need to move this time cursor here to the end and set exact same position value as it was in start. So it was 13.99 and 5.40. Set it here 13.99 and 5.40 and rotation here to zero. Let's also tweak this movement. And as you can see, we have two rapid movement. So we can once again select this keyframe, open this position. And by dragging this handle, we will make slower at the start and faster in the end. Select this keyframe and we will do the same here. As you can see, it's a bit too fast. So let's select these both keyframes and move it here. And now let's set a keyframes to our opacity. So here we will set to zero. Then about here let's set it to 100, about here let's tweak it a bit to create new keyframe and set it to 100 and here at the end let's set it to 0. And now let's match this movement with our video. So as you can see here starts the motion, we can once again use this razor tool here to cut this footage like this, then select this selection tool, select this footage and cut it here and we can move it over here. Okay, it looks pretty good. Now let's make it more ghost-like. For this we can open this opacity property and set it to screen. And now to see this effect better, we need to create new adjustment layer. Just click it here on this icon and choose adjustment layer and click it OK. Let's move this me video a bit higher and drag and drop this adjustment layer into our sequence. Let's cut it to this moment, select it and here in effect controls we can open opacity and create a mask. By clicking on these points we can make it bigger, like this. We need to go to effects and let's go to video effects and here in color correction let's drag and drop this brightness and contrast on this adjustment layer. We can also right mouse click on it and rename it. Let's call it vignette and click OK. 
and go back to this effect controls and let's create a keyframe to our brightness here at the start click on this stopwatch and about here where our astral projection flying out let's set to minus 100 as you can see we need to invert our mask so here in the mask click on inverted and by dragging this handle we can a bit feather it out we can also create a keyframe to our contrast here at the beginning and here we can lower it a bit let's select these keyframes and move it over right mouse click on it and choose easy in so we would have this kind of effect as you can see we have these lines around our footage we can clean these edges for this we need to select this me video go to effects and type here rough and edges left mouse click and drag on this me video go to effect controls scroll it a bit and let's change edge sharpness to zero as you can see we get rid of this edge we can also change the border to five to bring back our fingers as you can see and now it looks much better let's also select our vignette copy these keyframes just select them and press ctrl c on keyboard to copy and here press ctrl v to paste it then here at the end let's copy these first keyframes once again ctrl c on keyboard to copy ctrl v to paste it let's also add effect called rgb curves drag and drop onto our me layer go to effect controls as you can see if we tweak this curve here we can make it a bit brighter let's make a room for another adjustment layer drag and drop here another adjustment layer cut to this moment and let's add some flash here at the beginning so select this adjustment layer right mouse click on it and rename it let's call it flare and click ok here and effects let's apply effect called lens flare just drag and drop here on flare adjustment layer here and effect controls let's set it to this preset here and also let's change this flare center to our body here at the beginning let's create a keyframe set it to 100 few frames later set it to zero and here set it to 100 we can also set our brightness bigger like this I'll set mine to 130 and go to effects here in the video effects in distort we can apply this magnify effect just drag it here on flare go to effect controls here at the beginning let's change center to our body as you can see we have this kind of circle magnification let's set it to low value like 110 and let's animate our size click here on stopwatch to animate it and then here a few frames later set it to really high value like this we can also tweak this feather i'll set mine to 215 and about here between these two keyframes let's set keyframes to our opacity and here later set it to zero we can also select these two keyframes right mouse click on it and go to ease in let's tweak them a bit and finally let's add some trails of our astral projection I'll make just one trail just to show how it's done and with this technique you'll be able to make a bunch of copies let's copy our me nested footage just select it and press ctrl c and move time cursor here and press ctrl v to paste it let's move it over here on top like this here we can just make a bit more room and let's find the moment something like this cut to this moment right mouse click on it and select add frame hold now we can just click on this position click ok rotation click ok and opacity in this way we've deleted all keyframes and as you can see we just have this freeze frame now we can animate opacity once again just select this footage here in opacity create a keyframe let's move it over here and here at the beginning let's set it to zero so now it appears a bit later as you can see and let's also animate our position create a keyframe here at the beginning by clicking on this stopwatch and about here let's move it a bit and set opacity to zero we can also animate a bit of rotation and just create keyframe and tweak it a bit like this now we can go to effects and apply fast blur just type it here fast click and drag fast blur on top of this nested sequence and let's tweak these fast blur settings 
let's set it to about 21 and here and blur dimensions let's set it to vertical and finally let's add some turbulence displays type here turbulence displays and effects and drag and drop on this layer go to effects let's scroll down and change this size to 35 we also need to animate our evolution so here at the beginning let's create a keyframe and about here let's change to 600 and this way we'll have this wispy motion and let's change this value to 350 let's preview so in this way you can make a bunch of these trails effects you can also make them a bit darker less visible like this using these rgb curves here if you'll make more copies of these trails, it will look much better. And now it's a great time to support my channel. Just by one of the links in the description below. Or just subscribe to my channel, leave a like and comment if you want more Premiere Pro tutorials like this. Thank you.